Well, here we are, day two. I put the stereo in the other day, uh, yesterday, and I uh, I don't like it. I'm uh, I'm not impressed. It uh, it's it's just cheap. It it doesn't it doesn't do. First of all, to get the steering wheel controls to go, jeez, my steering wheel's turned around. To get the steering wheel controls to work, you have to almost essentially reprogram the truck to uh, to get it to to work because these wires aren't wired into the column and go over to the radio they're wired into like a some sort of a box underneath the steering column here that decodes it sends it over to another one that decodes at a different time and sends it into the uh the sink on the radio <clears throat> the stock radio and this one you can't you you have to there's other stuff that you have to buy you have to reprogram the, it's just a it's a waste and i don't like the navigation at all um First of all, every time you turn it on, it's got to boot up, which kind of sucks. Uh, not not the end of the world, because when you first fire up your truck, if you hit nav, it'll just boot up, and then you're good to go. But I don't like it. It's just cheesy to me. It doesn't, you know, it, you know, it's cartoonish. I don't know. I don't like it. So I've already printed out the return label, and this one is going back. And... Uh, yeah, I came out here in my uh, in my pajamas today. I'm watching the Bills game, and this is what we're gonna do today. I gotta get this thing out of here and put it back in the box because what we're gonna do next, and I just ordered one, and it was actually cheaper. This this thing was two hundred and fifty four dollars, I think. And instead of this, I'm gonna put the I put the stock stereo back in. Put the stock stereo back in minus the faceplate. And you can see the thickness of the faceplate. You can kind of tell where I'm going with this. Instead of this, up against here, I'm going to put a uh, iPad Mini. Uh, iPad Mini 4. I get the iPad 4, Mini 4 or 3. I don't remember which one I got. But I got the iPad Mini. It goes right in here. There's only one little thing that I got to trim on the back side of this is uh, where the um, charger cord goes into the iPad mini. It's either going to be on this side or this side. Um, depends on where I want. I think I want the home button right there. So it'll be on this side. Uh, I got to grind out for that. And then I don't know how you fasten the iPad to the front of this. Maybe the, the 3M Velcro, this, this real heavy duty um, plastic Velcro that comes on our easy passes. That might be a way to do it or uh, fasten it to the inside of the bezel. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. But for now, let's get this stereo out of here and get it packed back up in the box and send it back. in because remember I when I put this well for you guys it was just a second ago but when I put this back together I purposely left all the hardware out because I knew I was coming back to uh, to uh, put the uh, the antenna back together but uh, let me go get a socket I don't think I brought it out here with me no let me go get the socket get these out I think this stereo is, is you know i don't like it but i think it's it could be fairly decent for someone just trying to upgrade to a doubled in um and not spend a lot of money i think 250 is not too bad uh, i know there's some cheaper ones out there but they're really kind of crappy quality this one at least looks good and it's you know it's fairly decent for what some people want to do but i don't i don't like it i'm not into it so it's leaving. Okay. Gotta get these. 
and it was you know as you saw super super simple to install it just a couple of wires and you're good So, that thing, see that, this metal thing back here with a hole in it? That's for this part to fit in. And man, that was kind of a, it was kind of a pain. I don't like it, but I guess it's got to be there. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get the faceplate off. No, actually, I'm not. I'm not even doing that. Uh, I'm just making this video quickly to just show you that I am putting the old stereo back in. And then uh, on today's Sunday, on Tuesday, the iPad will get here. And then I'll come back. I'll turn you back on here and uh, show you how to put the iPad together. So stay tuned. Um, I didn't even I didn't even screw in the stereo. Uh, I still got to get these brackets off of this radio. But it was just super simple. So um, the... The iPad radio, or the iPad should be here on Tuesday. So once I get the iPad in here, we'll get it all back together and get this uh, back fitting normally and all that other stuff. So get back to you in a second. All right. Well, I got a little bit ahead of myself here. Um, just kind of started digging into it to see what I had to do. First thing you had to do is take off the uh, face. And all it is is just this plug right here. Plugs into there. And there's four tiny little black screws going here. And then this faceplate just pops right off. No big deal. Then I took off the, I took all the wires off of here. And I had to do a little bit of trimming. There is that little spot there and that little spot there. And if you'll notice, I took a little bit out of the side too. Um... These little, I, for some reason, I don't know what those are for. I think they, <clears throat> I think the other stereo kind of fits in between there and just kind of holds it. But uh, you got to kind of, you got to knock those off so the iPad will fit. So now with those out of there and then this little, this little notch taken out of the side here, the iPad will fit. It fits perfectly fits perfectly in there right in between these two deals and because I opened up the side there I can fit the uh, charger charging cord in there um, there is a few different ways you can go about this you can put some foam or something along the face of this radio here so that when you put it all together the iPad is pushed up against this nice and tight and unholding against here or you can grab some um, you can do some sort of a clip here or even tape or, or something to hold this in there the way it is but now that it's in there let's get that charging cord plugged in get the all this cleaned up here and see if we can get it to work I don't feel like uh, tearing any more plastic out of here so I have this um, aftermarket USB charging cord for the iPad and I just kind of ripped off the little plastic protector at the end there so the uh, the cord is way more flexible I'm not sure if that's gonna hold together or not um, it already says not charging on the uh, unit when I plug it in before I did any of this and I think it's because this is an aftermarket cord because everything else does work in that USB but I also noticed this other thing it says not charging but when I left it for 10 minutes and came back three or four percent was uh, up on the uh, battery charger so it is charging but it is charging very slowly um, so we're gonna look into that maybe getting a uh, um, an, a real you know uh, iPad charging cord and then I'll have to notch out this plastic a little bit or maybe get one of those 90 degree ones uh, and see if that'll work but for now we're just gonna put this together and see if it works okay a couple things um, the radio I thought the radio I thought the face of the radio back there was far enough back and you know what I'm thinking the radio has got to be further back in the slot and I don't know did I put those hangers on it backwards maybe 
I don't know. But I'm gonna take those, these uh, angled brackets off the side of the radio, flip them over, so the radio will fit back in the hole further. And then we're gonna see if that works. Hmm. But I don't know. Let me mess with this for a minute. But I mean, it, it fits in here. It fits in here beautifully. And uh, you know, I don't see. That, that's the other thing with this. I bought this deal, and I don't have a. I don't have a SIM card for it yet. It's uh, being delivered, so I can't. I, everything I can. I can do everything on uh, on Wi-Fi because I'm I'm next to the house. But uh, let's see. Sing. Please say a command. USB. No USB device. Bluetooth audio. Oh, hang on. I plug it in. All right, hang on. <clears throat> okay. So it says not charging, but it's at 67%. When I first fired this thing up, it was at 63%. So let's try again. Bluetooth audio. Please say a command. USB. USB. All right. Let's see if I can get anything to play. Ariana Grande. Well, there you go. Okay, so that works awesome. Um, like I said, right now I'm, I'm on, uh, on Wi-Fi at my house, so everything works. Um, when I put a SIM card in here, I'll just go on my, on my Verizon data from my, from my phone, and then everything should be fine. But um, I'm going to find, a, let's see, I kind of like... I almost feel like the the unit should go up a little bit higher because um these menu buttons at the bottom of this particular um iHeartRadio app they're down here so it's hard to it's hard to get your finger on it. Why is that upside down? Well, it's just the way it is, I guess. Um so I'm gonna see if maybe I can slide this up a little bit higher, cover off, you know, get the screen up higher. Uh, that'll I'll have to cut the slot a little bit wider for the um, charging cord, and I might have to do a little bit of modification on the back. But I think that that will that will be what I need to do. So, but I mean, you can, you know you can do everything that you want to do on your on your iPad you can just do it at the uh, do it in your in your car so let's just watch it's one of my favorite new channels You know, you're not supposed to be watching anything when you're driving down the road, but you have the ability to have something. I like to listen to uh, audiobooks when I'm plowing snow instead of music, because music just, it just freaking, you know, overlaps all the time. So I can grab, yeah, see, I got to get these up higher because I don't like, I don't like that. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm having the issue already. I can't get to the get to the bottom of the screen here to grab a hold of those menu items. So I'm gonna have to move this around, and I'll get back to you in a minute and show you what I did. It's gonna be easier than I thought to do this. This has got one of those little plastic blocks that ha that were on either side here. So if I just um, cut that off, I can slide this up. To fill up this space here and that's going to give me the room that I need on the bottom and then I can stick something in here to, to hold it up and then um, we'll figure out another way to uh, clip this in I was just using some tape here for just just to kind of show you know just to kind of hold it in here but I'm gonna do something different so maybe I can epoxy uh, 
I don't know. I gotta figure something out, but I gotta from across here maybe. Hmm. I'll figure it out. We'll get a way to hold this in place permanently and then uh, we'll have to take it out again in two days to put the SIM card in, but after that it can go in here permanently. So um, for now, let me just dig out this little hunk of plastic here and put it back together and see if we get everything working. So I'll be right back. All right, so like I was saying, it still has voice control and everything. So you click the voice. USB, please say a command. Play. Resume playing. And then you still have all your volume controls. And then if you if you want to get off of here and get back to the radio, you just you just got to remember that media one is satellite, media two is satellite, or sorry, media one click is me is satellite one, second click is satellite two, then AM, FM one, FM two. So satellite, satellite, AM, wait, AM. FM1, FM2, and then the third one is the, the Bluetooth, or the uh, USB. So, that's awesome. Now, so iHeartRadio is what I'm going to use for my uh, radio or uh, my um, um, Amazon Music because that's free. Um, or whatever, but I need to get my SIM card so that I can have this, um, you know, so I can use this when I'm away from, from Wi-Fi. But I think that is pretty cool how we can do all this stuff. Um, I want to, uh, let's see, where was I? Okay, so if I play a video... And I expand the screen. Okay, so earlier I couldn't get to this little box here because the, the iPad was too far down. But now I can see that I, I got it now. Um, th there's probably a way where I can trim even more of this back to bring the face of the radio forward. But I don't think I'm going to do that to this one because if I want to put the stock stereo back in... I could still put it in this one, but maybe I'll ask around. My buddy uh, owns a recycling place where he gets um, um, car stuff, so maybe I can ask to see if I can get one of these out of a rack or something and mess around with it and get it to work, and if it does, then swap it over. But for now, this is pretty good. Uh, I, don't have it, I don't have it secure in here yet. I just have it wedged in because, like I said, I still got to pull it out and put the SIM card in it. But uh, until I do that, this is this will work. And then I just got a, well, maybe this little notch here. Maybe that notch there will fit the cord. Yeah, I think that'll fit. So I got to put this back together and put the other one in. Nah, I'm going to need two hands. But anyways, you get the idea. So that's it. Uh, I like it. Um, screen's a little dim. Let's see what I can do about that. And then I, what I have is, okay, so the iPad will stay on as long as it's plugged into the USB. Um, and then as soon as I shut the truck off, uh, there's five minutes on this, and then it'll shut off or go to sleep. So that's really cool. Uh, let's see. So brightness. Where are we? Okay, we're already, we're already on. We are already on the bright. Uh, I don't think that's, I don't think that was that bright, but I guess it's all right. And then, so where the GPS, um, you can just run your Google maps and I like to run it satellite. And this can play in the background or music can play in the background while you got the maps on and, um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so I can just do, you know, this is just like a touchscreen on any stereo, but instead I just, I'm using the iPad. And, uh, yeah, I just took a, a picture real quick of the, of the truck out there for a background. But, yeah, you can change that around and everything. So I think that's pretty cool. And um, 
let's see if this will where did USB please say a command mm -mm. play resume playing What happened here? Oh, yeah, I just had to reopen the reopen the app, but but that is on. Very cool. Yeah, so that's it for this one. If you like the video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and have a great day.